Hey everybody, this is Etho. Uh, welcome back to my LP. It's been a while again. Sorry about that. Uh, you know how I have been having trouble finding animals? Well, I was I came to the desert here to harvest some sand for glass, and I found them. I know where they are. They're in a hole. All together. Just hanging out. And I'm noticing something watching these guys, that they don't seem to want to enter the dark cave. They're hanging out mostly in this area here. So I'm thinking that might be new mob behavior that I didn't know about. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some wheat and we'll try bring them back to my base. It's not far from here. Uh, but I'm gonna watch these guys for a little while. I wanna see if they go into the cave or not. Because they should. Actually, I should block this off so they can't get out. Yeah, I just want to watch them for a bit. <laughs> okay. I was harvesting some sand here, and I had a little surprise. Lava! And the weird thing is it's covered up. So I want to see if I can make uh, the sand fall down. Hmm. Maybe it's deeper. There we go. <laughs> that could have been dangerous, you know, if you're if you harvest some sand and there's a lava pool below. All the sand would fall down and you would fall in the lava. The greatest natural trap ever. But it looks like uh, it's yeah, there's stone above it, mostly. <laughs> Weird. And these animals do not seem to be moving. They seem to prefer the light. The daylight, like uh, the sunlight or moonlight. So I'm going to try uh see if I can... If I can push them. If I push them here, if they're gonna like always try to walk back, come on, buddy, move it. Actually, I'm gonna get a fishing rod. That's a good idea. I'll be right back. Okay, I got a little bit distracted here. I want to show you guys my favorite thing to do with a fishing rod. So I got my a little buddy here to help me out. Let's see if we can hook him. <laughs> I love doing that. Oh, good times, good times. Alright, so the plan here is to hook these guys over here and see if they automatically always try to run back to the light. This guy's starting to come over here. That guy went back. That guy went back. It's not animal abuse. That's what I keep telling myself. Yeah, they don't want to come this way. Although if someone was trying to hook me and my behind, I wouldn't want to go to him either. Okay, so now let's try with the torch. Let's see if they'll stay here when I hook them. Oh, I actually hurt that guy. Still ran away. Here, piggy piggy. Sorry, cow. Not my fault. It's for science. Okay. They're avoiding me still. Let's try punch a hole in the ceiling to m let in natural light and see how that affects them. I don't know if this is common knowledge or not, but this is news to me. 
that light affects these guys. Where's that hole? Oh, I didn't put it in a very good place. Come yeah, on. There we go. So now we have natural light over here. Let's see if they'll run back now that they have a closer uh, source of it. And now he doesn't mind being over here. So in a way you can kind of make cages for them using light and only light. So actually in my cave, instead of like making fences for them, all I need really is a a sunroof or whatever. Come on. They seem fine once they get within this area. Come on, cooperate with me. You want to go back, don't you? No, not going to allow it. Not going to allow it. Oh, get back here. Okay, well, you like being here. So I think it's true. Okay, well, that was my last fishing rod, so I will get some sand, and we will go back to the base. And get some wheat. I got the strats again. Down to half a heart here. No food on me. Out at night. That will have to do. I need to work on my food situation because I keep eating uh, the zombie meat and it doesn't last very long. But I should be fine now. Okay, we made it back in one piece. Uh, we're slowly getting more and more resources here. We're actually doing pretty good. Uh, I've been doing some tunneling off camera just because I don't want to uh, draw it out too much in the LP. I just want just want to do it every so often a little bit. Uh, today I would like to take on that abandoned mine shaft in the LP, but general tunneling isn't overly exciting, so I did some of it off camera. Basically, uh, over here is the ravine. Just over here. Yeah, over here. So we got a nice open space here. I'm thinking I might build my mob system in the ravine here. I'll like hollow out a big area near the bottom and then I'll just uh, hollow out like I got a nice flat wall here. I could just build the hostile mob system in that, no problem. And I'll get resources doing it. It's kind of like building my underground style with the mob evader, except since I'm underground, living underground, I can do a sky trap underground, and I won't have a big ugly tower in the sky. So that'll work out good. I've got the ravine here. This goes down to uh, lava l level. This tunnel here. Oh, hey buddy. It's not really lit up the greatest. Yeah, that goes up to the surface there. We also have another path to the surface. Um, forget where. Hmm. Grass is spreading pretty good. I've been slowly expanding it, trying to get it to all these different tunnels. But it takes its sweet time, that's for sure. Yeah, the abandoned mine shaft is just over here. And I know the spider spawner is close because uh, I had one of the cave spiders chasing me the other day when I got near it. So it's really close. Oh yeah, up there. There's a path here that goes around. It's kind of nice. It goes around and slightly slopes up to this area here. And this goes to the surface. And it's raining apparently. So one plan I've had, 
I'm having with this uh, new base is I kind of decided I wanted all the areas to be accessible by boat. If that makes sense. I did that in my uh, original starter world, kind of. In my house, I had, like, all these water roads. And it was pretty cool. So I want to do that. It'll be like a mix of still water areas and eats roads and elevators and stuff. So I'm thinking I'll... No, I'm hungry again, aren't I? I do have wheat. Some wheat, not a lot. But I have a lot of bones. Yeah. So, I'm thinking I'll try have a water thing going around here. A nice water path. It'll go out over to here. And then a water elevator to the surface here. And I'll be able to come down to my base fr with a boat from there as well. That's my plan. And I might have the water run down here with a pool over here. And from there, I haven't figured it out. But I'm not sure how it's going to look either. And something else I want to play around with was the iron bars. You guys suggested I should use it for lighting. The lab lighting thing. So I just want to see how it looks. We'll put uh, some on our creeper face here. See how it turns out. Because apparently the wooden fences do burn now. The nether ones don't. Oops. Oh, dang. I'm never going to get that back, am I? I have no idea what the best tool is for these either. Pick, I'm guessing. Okay, well, I'll do this, and then we'll see what it looks like. Hmm. Well, I don't think I like it for the creeper face, but for general lava lighting, it looks pretty good. I like to have stuff like that around the place. Seems like a good idea. Better than fences, anyway. Yeah, so... I'm gonna... Actually, I am ready. Let's go check out the abandoned mine shaft here, see what we got. So I think it was up here that the spiders were harassing me when I got close over here. Oh, right, right over there. It's right over there. I can't believe it. Out in the open. I hear a spider, but I don't see it. I'm hoping to find some uh, watermelon seeds. Hmm. This uh, abandoned mine shaft is. Oh. Where did you come from? Where are you? There's more. Down there. Oh, dang. He's after me. Don't come near me. Oh, there's two. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. Man. So there must be two spawners there. Hmm. Give me five minutes while my health regenerates here. Okay, I was being sarcastic about the five minute thing, but it literally did take like two minutes to regenerate. It's terrible. So let's try find this other one. Hey. How can I kill you? You see it? I don't see it. There's a whole lot of webs down there though. Where are you at? I saw you come down here. Hmm. 
This mine shaft is a mess. Oh, down me. Dang. Okay, well, I'm gonna go this way. Whoa, man, look at this giant open weird. They sound very close still. This is weird. Soil in like a square. What is up with this? Strange. Okay. Creeper. Some mushrooms. Hey. Uh oh, that was bad. That was bad. What? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, pay attention. <laughs> I was just memorized that he didn't explode and I walked to my own fire. <laughs> Why didn't he explode? I don't think I was hiding behind the fences too well. stuff. Haven't found any chests yet. This is actually my first uh, abandoned mine shaft I've taken on legitimately, like in survival mode. I've only seen them in creative mode so far. I'm out of torches already. What's going on? Oh man, is there another one? There is another one. Don't, don't back me into a corner. Wow. If there's another one here, that's like three then. In this very close area together. Yeah. Oh darn. Oh darn. No. Oh. Spider web. Okay, I gotta... I gotta get out of here. I didn't bring armor with me, because I thought I could get away with it. Oh, it just regenerates so slowly. Why so slow? I gotta get some more torches. There he is. Yeah, so I've been playing Legendary. And ever since then I've had like no fear of going around cave systems anymore. Because they are nothing in comparison. And I'll probably start posting videos of that soon. Maybe tomorrow even. We'll see. I did the race for the wool. That was a lot of fun. We got our butts kicked though, unfortunately. But we might be like doing a league type thing is the plan. So we'll we'll have another chance of redeeming ourselves. And we have a... I talked to the guys and we have a good plan highly detailed plan for next time. I don't know if you could tell, but we did that last one blind, so we had no idea what the map was like. And we never did a race together either. But, uh, we had a lot of fun. That was the important thing. Okay. Health is regenerated. Let's go one more time. I lost where we were. Not over there. It was... Looks like there's light up there. Where was it? Not there. 
must have been over here. Yeah. Yeah, down here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I see the spawner. Stop breaking my own torches, darn it. Ah! Actually... I'm... Yeah, I'm playing the pre-release number three now. If I believe you can uh, neutralize effects like poison if you drink milk. Although I might be wrong about that. I should check that out. It would be good to bring some milk with me for this. Okay, dead ends there. Kind of. No, I'm not I'm not recovered. Darn. I could be fancy and just tunnel, but Yeah, I may as well get a little closer. Okay, there's another path here. And I'm out of torches. All right, here we go again. Let's see if we can shut it down. Oh, that didn't get me very close. Should it be, yeah, there they are. He's stuck on the fence. Ha <laughs> ha. If I set it on fire, will the cobwebs burn? Doesn't look like it. No, 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 no. Don't you touch me. Ah, he got through. No, 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 no. I thought the fire would prevent them from spawning, but it's not working too well. And that was a dumb idea, because now I'm stuck in a corner. Come on, come on, come on. And I killed all my torches. Oh, but the spider webs wash away. Did not know that. Well, that worked out pretty good. Hey, stop spawning. Ah, there we go. I think there's one up there still. Take down the fence. And get attacked. Yeah, there he is. Haha. -ha. So that's two spawners so far. No chests. This looks like it dead ends. And I want to see what's out here. They're very close. Hmm. Must be above. driving me crazy. Where was it? I found one. Oh. Not you again. There we go. We found a zombie up here before. We should check it out. Nothing. It's like they're so close. But I can't find them. Are they down below? They are. 
Hey, what's behind me? Cool. Oops. Oh, we got some lava over here. Check it out, we found a chest. First chest, what's inside? Ah, pretty good, pretty good. We got a diamond, and I got a pick. Which is great, because mine was just running out. And we needed iron for a sword, too, so that worked out pretty good. Uh, Would have liked some seeds, but oh well. Very nice. Take the chest with us. Cool. So, oh, another chest down there. Awesome. Seed, seed, seeds. I want some watermelon. Aw awesome. We got them. Melon. Yeah, that's what we want. Cool. Mission accomplished. So the only thing I want to do yet is find that other spider spawner. All right, we're by that other spider spawner. Let's see if we can take it down quickly. I think it was over here. Was it over here? Down below there. Yeah, right over there. There's another one. Unbelievable. That's like three in a really tiny area all together. I probably don't want to fall down there actually. Hmm. Not too difficult. Oh. Ninja almost got me there. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Nope, bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, dang it, I can't even hit them. That sucks. Am I alive? I'm alive. Somehow. Oh, I wish I had more blocks. Okay, well, I'm going to hang out over here for a second. <gasps> it's right out there. There's one over there, too. How did they get over there? Hey, no. Well, that didn't go quite like I wanted. Oh, they can probably get up over here, too. got to be careful. Cool. Uh, I think it's shut down. Oh, maybe not. There's a lot around here still. There's one up there. I wonder if there's more spawners. Skeleton down there. And a creeper. Ah. What am I stuck on? Whoa. Whoa. No, 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 no. Why can't I hit him? I'm stuck on something here. Oh, for crying out loud, that was no fair. Ah! Uh, I couldn't hit him for some reason. Or move. Unbelievable. I gotta get back there quick. 
Gotta be around here. I'm a little bit lost. There's a spawner up there. Okay, I remember this area a little bit. Like bends around to the right. And then the big square room. Yeah, I should have brought some weapons with me. Oh, there's more creepers. Okay, and then it goes up, and then down. There's my sword. So I'm wondering if there's another one up there. Just gotta get my diamond. Make an opening this time. Okay. I think I'm good now. Yeah, I got everything back. I want to check out up here. Get organized. There's definitely something up there. I can't believe how many spawners there are. More evil eyes. Ah, oh, he got me. Freaking fences, man. You can't attack when you hear them. Don't chase me. Ah, oh, why is there spiders still? I disabled them. Found another chest here, but there's a spider as well. I'm a little worried about it. Might be a spawner. These spiders hide really well. They'll like just hover in the ceiling. Yeah, there he is. Ah, oh, he got me. Oh man, there it is. Lock it for now. Check the chest. Mm, not the best. Take the gold, I will leave. What will I leave? Arrows, I guess. We'll try to take this on quickly. Get my water. Oh, that won't work. Darn. This might have been one we've gotten to already, actually. Ah. How they do it, I don't even know. They're masters. Yeah, there's a torch next to that spawner. So I've been here. Turns out uh, that spawner was right by our base here. And I had no idea even. So we had a good haul. Got some melon seeds, diamond, a bit of iron, string. Lots and lots of string. Some tracks I picked up. Um, I'll have to go through there again and uh, clean up the area for iron and coal and tracks and that stuff but that was pretty good for today oh I did have another shovel all that time didn't even know it yeah check it out the two spawners are like right next to each other here less than 16 blocks apart and there's another one about 40 blocks from here so uh, pretty close together. I might make a spider trap from this just for the fun of it since they're since we got too close together and we are right by our base here. So it might be fun to do that. But not today. I'm going to call it an end for today because it's getting late here. And I thank you for watching as always.